you're able to move this slider to your desired level of being likely to sell. And it's using a proprietary algorithm to help you find those property owners with multiple distress indicators and motivating factors. Hey everyone, my name's Landry and I'm the community manager at Batch. And if you still haven't seen the incredible new updates that came out in Batch Leads to help you find likely to sell property owners quickly and include all of their contact information with no skip tracing necessary, you won't wanna miss today's video. Let's go ahead and jump right into my account and take a look at property search. This is where you can pull list of opportunities, whether those be on or off market or cash buyers. And we're gonna be looking for off market opportunities to talk about the tool that came out to help you find those likely to sell property owners. So let's use the search bar and look up the city of, let's say Jacksonville, Florida. I'll type that out, grab it from the drop down, and we're going to immediately choose off market as our strategy. You'll then see the batch rank AI feature if you're in the new plans and I'll show those new plans and the pricing and packaging at the end of today's guide if you're curious about them and haven't seen that yet either. But when you open up this tool, you're able to move this slider to your desired level of being likely to sell. And it's using a proprietary algorithm to help you find those property owners with multiple distress indicators and motivating factors. So depending on your plan, you may only be limited to the medium tier. I'm in a higher plan, so I can go all the way up to most likely if I wanted to. All you have to do to pull that list is view those results and you can start analyzing the details. Now you can still use your other filters that you're used to, like if you really want to use your quick filters on top of that batch ring tool, or even just go into the all filters button and make sure that it's only pulling up certain types of homes. You might open up property characteristics under your all filters, for example, and say you're only looking for residential single family might be a good use case. So you can go through the rest of your filters if there's very specific points that you need that list to have, even though you're using the algorithm. So we're gonna go ahead and view our results and save these into our account. And you'll still be able to analyze the information here, but where you're going to get included contact info is once they're saved. So let's click on select and we'll go ahead and just grab all of these and save the properties. I always think of my list as my kind of main idea, the main point. You'll basically type out what you want to name your list or tag and either create a new one or grab something existing from the dropdown. I currently have a batch rank high list and that's where I'm gonna save this, this uh, group of properties. And I already have a tag I created earlier today called batch rank high, and just referencing that list name, and then the market and the date. So you can see this is my main idea, and this is the subcategory, letting me know a little bit more about that, that list that I'm bringing in. So go ahead and click save, and you can go into my list to view that information. Just simply click on the list or tag section at the top. You can use your other filters, of course, as well, but we're gonna go to my tag side, and there it is, my batch rank high, Jacksonville, Florida list. So once those are pulled up, to view the contact information and to get contact information in general, it's already done for you essentially in these new plans. And I'm gonna click on an address here. The information will be blurred for YouTube, but I have all of their phone numbers and all of their email addresses with no skip tracing necessary. So it doesn't cost anything additional to get phone numbers, it's just included in those new plans. You'll still be able to get information on if a phone number is on the national do not contact list, if it's mobile or landline and their phone provider, and if that phone provider has reported it as reachable and tested in the past few months. So you can get all this other additional information that you're used to within Batch Leads, comp the property, view their owner profile to see their portfolio, leave notes, and so on. But also you'll see the batch rank AI feature popping up here in the distress indicators box on every property you have in your account as well, making that easy to categorize and find those likely to sell properties really quickly, even in your save data. There's also a batch rank column that you can grab in your table configuration. So I have mine showing right here, showing me that this whole list that I just pulled, they're all obviously under high as that's what I categorized on that slider option. But if you wanna find that for yourself, go into table configuration and you can find the batch rank area just make sure that you take the the line out of the eye icon here so that you can view it and you can pin it and bring it up to the position that you prefer but now that we have that information it really is so easy to then select the properties 
click actions and now you can export them. You can add them into a direct mail campaign. We have tons of different options that are available to edit, or you can upload your very own custom postcards or letters in your settings. You can push them over to Batch Dialer and start making phone calls there if you have that integrated and have an account and just overall manage the properties. So let's go ahead and take a look at those new plans available in your account. You can do this by going to your initials in the top right hand corner, then going to my profile and then going over to billing on the left. Be sure to look at the date on this video in coordinates with when you're watching it, just as sometimes we have different promotions going on and you might see something different on your screen. But looking down on this page showing you the different plans under growth, professional, and scale, it'll show you that all of these have the included phone numbers and email addresses. It'll show you how many monthly leads you have. So for example, in growth, you have 10,000 monthly leads. That would be anybody you bring into your account through property search, driving for dollars, agent outreach, and even a manual import. And they'll all include contact information. It doesn't matter how you save the data, just as long as it's saved, you'll get their contact information with no skip tracing necessary. So same idea within both of these other plans, just different amounts available depending on your needs. If you're as excited about these new updates as I am, be sure to hit the like button and drop a comment down below and let us know what this means for you and your business. If you have questions or need help, go to the B in the bottom corner of your batch account to talk to our team or visit our help center. And you can always go to the link in the description to join the community where you can send me a message or just network with amazing people and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys on the next episode.